Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Desi Tangamar, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of History, Nirmala College for Women. The topic we're going to see now is Amnesty International. So first we will see an introduction about Amnesty International, then we will see the history, then the timeline, principles and also the key operation areas of Amnesty International. Mr. Peter Beninson, he is the founder of the Amnesty International. Amnesty International, it is a worldwide organization that works to protect human rights. It is an independent form of all governments and is neutral in relations to the political groups and ideologies. The motto of Amnesty International is, better to light a candle than curse the darkness. Better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. Amnesty International, it has grown into a global human rights organization. According to one estimate, it has around 1 million members and subscribers in 162 countries and territories. There are over 4,200 local Amnesty International groups worldwide and several thousand more schools, university, professional and youth groups in more than 80 countries. Amnesty it has established a large number of groups to coordinate the work of its various international networks and members. The Amnesty International members, they work on the cases of victims of human rights violation as well as numerous other actions, some dealing with thematic concerns like torture, women's rights, rights of refugees, others dealing with a range of violations within a particular country. The International Secretariat of Amnesty it is located in London. It is responsible for research and the overall running of the organization. It has over 300 full-time staff and has an annual budget of about 18 million pounds. Today, the mandate of Amnesty International it is considerably wider than it was in 1960s. It deals with a wide range of violations of physical integrity. The Amnesty International, it was established on May 28, 1961 by Mr. Peter Berenson. It is also concerned with the long-term preventive measures rather than offering immediate assistance to the victims of human rights violations. The Statute of Amnesty International now states that the organization aims to promote all the rights set in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It seeks fair and prompt trials for all the political prisoners the abolition of torture and other forms of cruel treatment and death penalty and the end to disappearances and extrajudicial executions. We will see a few timelines about Amnesty International. In 1961, the Amnesty International it was established. 1962, Amnesty International Group was started in Australia. In 1971, 700 prisoners of conscience they were released. In 1972, Amnesty International launches worldwide campaign for abolition of torture. In 1977, Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to the Amnesty International for worldwide respect of human rights. In 2002, the International Court, which 
is a permanent court to investigate and prosecute suspected people was established. In 2006, the Ambassador of Conscience Award recognized people or groups who had promoted the cause of human rights to act on their conscience. Nelson Mandela was awarded by Amnesty International in the year 2006. In 2011, women's rights are human rights. The right to live free from violence and discrimination was stressed by the Amnesty International. 2014, after 20 years of campaigning, Arms Trade Treaty, it is, which is a multilateral treaty, was regulated with trade, international trade, in conventional weapons. In 2015, Amnesty has pressurized the government and institutions like United Nations to take action on the climatic change. In the year 2015, death penalty was reduced and in 2016, the individuals who were at risk were rescued by the Amnesty International. In 2017, LGBTI, which means lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgenders and intersex, they were all given marriage equality as equal right by the Amnesty International. 2018, Athlete and activist Colin Kaepernick, he received Amnesty International Ambassador of Conscience Award. In the year 2019, climate activist Greta Thunberg, he received Amnesty International's Ambassador of Conscience Award. In 2020, Amnesty International campaigned to push the countries to give a global and fair system of refugees. In 2021, right to protest was given by the Amnesty International. And in 2021, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgenders, all these people, they were given protection from the harmful conversion practices. Some of the functions of Amnesty International are they investigate and expose the facts whenever and wherever abuses happen. They lobby governments and other powerful groups like companies and also they make sure that everyone keep their promises and respect international law. The key operational areas are the Amnesty International members. They work on cases of victims of uh, human rights violation and uh, women's rights, then the rights of refugees. Then they seek fair and prompt trial for all the political prisoners. They are also involved in the abolition of torture. Ending disappearances of persons ending extrajudicial executions, indiscriminate and arbitrary killing during wartime, female genital mutilation, prisoners of conscience, political abuse of psychiatry, rights against torture, rights against freedom of speech and of conscience. They also support the people to claim their rights through education and training and advance um, discrimination in legal system, hostage taking by armed opposition groups. Amnesty International also helps the release of political prisoners to uphold the whole spectrum of human rights. So I've just highlighted one area. So these are the five golden rules in handling heavy refugee crisis. The first thing is to treat everyone equally. This is particularly for the, refugee, for the refugees. So we have to treat 
the um, refugees equally put humanity first keep all the families together cut the red tape and also to share the responsibility so these are the five golden rules in handling heavy refugee crisis so to conclude with amnesty international right now it is not active in india but since the universal declaration on human rights was adopted almost around 20 years ago human rights across the globe they have faced harassment in many ways eu and also the member states they have acted for human rights and also to speak out in defense of the human rights developments thank you for watching